Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're going to be comparing five small tabletop tripods. The Manfrotto Pixie and Pixie Evo, the GorillaPod 1kg version, the Benro BK10 and the Anker Nebula. And for the impatient ones, the Anker provides the best price, build quality, paid low ratio for sure. The Manfrotto Pixie, it's still built really, really well. It's the simplest of them all, but the second one I would recommend. The Gorilla Pot, if you need the Gorilla capabilities, but there's nothing else that does it in this group. The Benro does have some selfie capabilities and is the one with the longest reach. And the Pixie Evo, while it should be an evolution of the Pixie, it has some flimsy qualities and that's why I would not recommend it. So maybe the first question to answer is what is the purpose and use cases for these type of tripods? At least for me one of them is doing tabletop photography or on-ground level and these tripods are useful for mount for instance your camera or even a light on top of it. Another way that I use these tripods very very often is I mount my audio recorder on it and then it's a more comfortable position for visibility purposes. Right now I have the H5 mounted on a standing tripod because today I am standing as a bit different setup that I have but many times I will have the H5 or the H1 and depending on what I'm using mounted on the Pixie that's on the table I can incline it towards me and I can see the screen much better than it will be just sitting on the table. Another obvious use case is type of vlogging situation where we're going to hold this out there. Now we have an action camera here and that's the camera that I feel comfortable mounting in all of these different tripods but we're going to get to the payload a little bit later. And in the case of the Gorilla Pod, if you're gonna need to wrap this thing in places, yeah, maybe not my arm, but in different kind of places, then this is a functionality that nothing else offers. So how about the physical differences? Well, the Anker is the heaviest with the Pixie Evo coming quite close to it. And then the Pixie, again, is the smallest and the lightest. The difference is not that huge, actually, and there's gonna be a surprise when we talk about payload. Then the Anker is the longest, even when folded, so now it's a little bit longer than usually, but I can still fold it like this. And this is the longest of the bunch. But as you can see, even if comparing it with the Pixie, which is once again the smallest, it's not that big of a difference. And now let's talk about the payload. And talking about the payload, here's when it gets impressive. The anchor, which now I'm mounting, this thing can hold up to five kilos. and it will support five kilos even when fully extended. And I have tried this, so I mounted on top of this, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with a cage, the Make a Cinema Lens, and still a V-mount battery on top of it. All of that, I know it doesn't up to five kilos, but there's no way that any of the other of the tripods are gonna hold it. And this one holds it in the most extended position with no problems. That's impressive. In second position, we do have the Pixie, Evo and the specs says that this is going to hold two and a half kilos. However, and we're going to get to this later, the legs are so flimsy that I wouldn't trust it. The ball head seems to be built okay, but not the legs. So I don't think I would be putting two and a half kilos on top of this thing anytime soon. And the rest, the Gorilla Pod, the Bendro and the Pixie, all of them are rated for one kilo. One thing to mention here is that this might hold one kilo on the lower hit but if you extend it all the way this thing becomes a little bit unstable and i wouldn't trust this to hold a kilo of camera on top of it right now not for sure but then this is the biggest selling point together with the selfie capabilities of the Benro bk10 this extends to almost a meter tall and i have used this for instance mounting an action cam on top which i feel comfortable enough that it's gonna hold and then filming myself outside or outdoors it also makes for a quite cool vlogging angle so it gives lots of distance and pair with a fairly wide angle from an action cam then you really really have a super wide field of view and that's would say something that it differentiates it from the others and if it's something that you're looking for pretty much none of the others offer this kind of functionality i'm gonna take this out of the way but the second of the bunch when it comes to reach is the anchor and this one reaches up to 42 centimeters high 
which is a head that I actually like and use very much as a tabletop tripod to mount a camera when I'm having conferences and meetings at work. So I have usually my SXC400, which is right now recording me on top of this tripod. I still have visibility to my screens, but the camera is a little bit closer to eye level, which is the reason why I wanted this in the first place. And because it has such a big payload, it can hold plenty of camera options without problems at all. But yeah, so this is my setup. This is how we use the anchor tripod. So I can have the A6400 as a webcam. Switch it. This looks much better than any webcam, and now I'm actually recording myself in here as well. And um, because it's filmed and it's December, I need some light to look. Oh, okay. And there we go. If you're looking for the lowest position on paper, according to the specs, it should be the Bendro BK10. But with this shaft in here, I do find that the actual Pixie has a lower position than the Pendro. So if you're looking for the lowest possible tabletop tripod that you can find, the Pixie would be your choice. Then how about the build quality? The Anchor wins by far. It's Everything is made by metal, all the twists and knobs, they feel very, very sturdy. As I said, they have put a pretty big payload here and everything feels super solid. So this is just far and beyond the best of the bunch. The next one, funnily enough, it's the Pixie. It's the smallest, it's the simplest, it's the cheapest and yet it's the one that holds its position the best. It feels like everything falls as it should. Nothing squeaks, nothing wiggles. Even the ball head works nicely. So this is the second most solid one. This is a GorillaPod and that's a funky device. I think that the joints are gonna get looser with time, but I don't use it so much in wrapping it around in places. So mine is still in fairly good condition, but that's something to think through when considering GorillaPods in general. Then the Bendro has an issue, in my opinion, which is it wiggles very, very much unless it's totally extended. So this shaft is composed by plenty of different pieces and they have some room so that you can extend it, but it means that it feels much more unstable than the other options if on low positions. So the use case for this is fully extended and then the something do something with it. And then we get to the Pixie Evo. As you have noticed, I probably don't like it very much. The ball head itself seems very solid and the knob has some force with it. It's nice that there is this twisty thing here to actually attach the camera or whatever you're gonna mount here on the top instead of having to twist the full tripod. And the legs are somewhat well designed or the idea is good, we're gonna get to it in a moment, but they are very flimsy, they wiggle, they make noises, they give me zero confidence that this will actually hold. So is there any other distinguishing factor between all these different tripods, something that makes them special? The anchor, let's say how solid it is, the big payload, even in full extended. There's none of the other options do that. The Pixie, simplicity, it just does what it does. From all these devices, is the one that I've had the longest and the one that I have used the most that is changing now that I have the anchor, which I'm using on a daily basis for work meetings, but this I use a lot. I do it many times to use for phone calls that I have a bit more stability or put the phone on the table and have a video chat with my family, for instance. And because it's so simple, everything just works. It's sturdy, it's the cheapest, it's the smallest. Clear recommendation. So what makes the GorillaPod special? Well, it's a GorillaPod. It does this thing of twisting the legs and you can mount it in places and none of the other do that. If that's what you want, that's what you need, then a GorillaPod is definitely the choice for you. When using it as a normal tripod, not so much, because after twisting this a couple of times, you can see the legs, they lose their shape, and I always end up not having a really good confidence for it as a normal tripod. So that's why I'm gonna go for the other options. When I need to wrap this around somewhere, then nothing else comes close. With the row, and I mentioned already this several times, the redeeming feature of what makes it special is the reach. It gets up to almost a meter and it actually comes with a small remote that I believe that it works with Android devices. So this is a really much of a glorified tripod selfie stick. I've never used it, so I can't tell you how well does it work. But if you're looking for a selfie stick type tripod that actually would, you are able to trigger your camera, I'm not sure if the camera is, but at least your cell phone, then that might be for you. But even if I'm thinking on situations like I've been using it for, uh, maybe not the vlogging, but, taking some videos outdoors, and this is something that fits almost in your pocket. And yet, you can put it in a fairly decent height, about one meter above the ground, 
This is still a nice option in those situations, given that you don't put a big payload. Action camera is okay. I wouldn't trust it with a mirrorless camera when extended. And then finally we get to the Pixie Evo, which to me is just a disappointment. Um, when you look at the features, it's actually pretty nice. It looks like the Pixie, but better. And evolution, that's probably where the name comes from. And it has actually a lot of features. One of them is that you can put the legs in a really, really flat position. You can put them in a less flat position. And then each of the legs has six different positions. So there's a ton of different possible lengths that you can set these up. The problem, the flimsiness of the legs. It just, I can recommend it because of that. On paper, looks great. Payload, price, functionality. In reality, I don't think it delivers what it promises. And then how about the price? And that's a bit surprising considering some of the characteristics I've been talking about. All of them can be found for less than 40 euros. That's correct. Even this one with a five kilo payload, I got it for 29.90 plus shipping, but I was shipping other things as well. And I think that the cheapest that I got was the Pixie and it came with a clamp for the phone and it did cost around 20 euros. So what are my conclusions? Well, the Anker and the Pixie, to me they are the best. If you need GorillaPod functionality, get the GorillaPod. If you need the vlogging long reach, then the Benro is a nice option, given that you don't put payload on it. And based on everything that I've been talking, I just can't recommend the Pixie ever. But I'm curious, do you guys have any of these tripods or are you looking for one of these? Which of them look more interesting for your purposes? I hope you liked the video, if you did please like and subscribe and we're gonna see you soon for some more content.